So using list database and list tables, we tested connectivity with the database and also we listed the databases as well as tables. And if you recollect what we have done as part of the MySQL validation, towards the end, we also ran a query saying select star from orders limit 10 to make sure that we have the read permissions on the table. So we have to do the same thing even through scoop at times to, to validate or uh, for other purposes as well. Uh, and the way you can do it is by using scoop eval command. So like list database and list tables, there is another command called scoop eval. And you can get the details about that by saying scoop help eval, or you can also go to the documentation and read about eval a bit. Okay, so when it comes to scoop eval, the common arguments are same things which we have seen earlier. The username, password, uh, connect string, etc. And then there are tool specific arguments, so, uh, which are SQL evaluation arguments. And uh, eval can be specified as um, hyphen e. Okay. And then we can actually say, uh, uh, query statement and that will actually execute the statement and exit. We can also get this information from the documentation. Okay, let me search for eval. Yeah, so this is the eval and you can see the syntax here so scoop eval takes additional argument either hyphen hyphen query or hyphen e and you can give any valid sql query as long as uh, the uh, the user which we are trying to connect have permissions on the table we are good to go if there are no permissions you will get permission denied type of exception so you need to figure out how to grant the permissions in MySQL to the user and get it done by the DBS so that you, you have the permission. So to, to check the permissions at the table level, eval is a very handy command. Okay, you don't need to connect to MySQL database and then check the permissions and all. Just run the eval command and it will confirm the val, uh, uh, whether the permissions are there for you to get the data or not and also eval is used in uh, automation also so before import and after import you might want to read some data from the database and also write some important information back to the database after the import and those things can be done using uh, scoop eval you need to dynamically generate certain information um, based on uh, based on what you are trying to do a pre import or pre-execution of script and post-execution of script. So eval comes very handy as part of the automation. For the certification, you don't need to worry too much about automation, but at times, if you want to make sure whether the data is imported properly or not, um, so, uh, or if you want to perform the sanity checks between the source database and the HDFS uh, data that is copied, uh, after export, if you just want to make sure the number of records on the target uh, table are same uh, as the uh, number of records on the source data uh, in HDFS, you can use eval to connect to the database and you can get that information very quickly. That being said, now let me use Sublime Text itself to write the eval command also. So these three things are common for almost everything. So I'm copying this, these three things and running scoop eval, paste it. And then either I can say hyphen E, hyphen E shortcut for hyphen hyphen query or hyphen query and then run the query. So in this case, I want to run select star from orders limit 10. Okay, and here also we are trying to connect to the database called return score DB. So we'll be querying 
data from retail and score db orders by running this eval command and then you can copy this one and paste it will connect to the database it will run the query and it will show the results on the console in a moment you can see here now let me try to run one more command okay instead of selecting let me insert okay insert into orders values orders have four fields i am very familiar with this table so it has four fields first one is numeric so i am giving uh, 100 thousand as the first value and then second one is date so i am saying 2017 10 31 and third one is again numeric value so i am giving uh, 100000 again and last one is status which is of type string and i want to mark it as complete or dummy let me give it as dummy and so if you have uh, so you can issue any any query such as select insert update delete etc and uh, if you if you have double quotes in your data you have to escape like this because the query has to be enclosed in circular brackets okay or you can also pass the strings in single quotes in databases so you can actually use the single quote also here but if you are using double quotes you have to escape okay so now let us run this query if the user have insert permission uh, the user is retail underscore user database is retail underscore db and password uh, username is retail underscore uh, uh, sorry table is orders okay if retail underscore user have write permission to retail db's uh, orders table then the insert will be successful if he does not then it will be failed and you can see the error insert command denied to user retail underscore user at gw01.itbus.com for table orders okay so this is how you can validate quickly using eval eval is very powerful command but there is another database in uh, for us which is retail underscore export right so let's use that and issue a different command in scoop eval so the database name is retail underscore export username is retail underscore user and password is itversity and here i will be issuing a ddl command not select or insert or update or delete I, I am going to create a table dummy i integer okay and let us see if I am able to execute this most likely it might I think it should work I think I have given DBA yeah now you, you see that table is created so you can issue any command it can be select uh, command it can be insert update delete so you can perform CRUD operations as long as you have permissions you can create tables again as long as you have permissions uh, so any valid query you can give using eval on top of queries you can also invoke functions and you can get the information from functions also using eval you, eval is very very important even though a lot of guys doesn't emphasize it is the uh, uh, one which which will come handy for us 
while automating uh, the applications using scoop commands scoop is not a programming language it's just a bunch of commands and using scoop commands is not good enough you have to automate that and for that you have to use some scripting or programming language and as part of that automation we use we need to use eval quite extensively otherwise our automation uh, can uh, become a bit challenging okay now to conclude this let me also insert just one record to make sure that we can insert the data because uh, retail underscore user have right permissions to uh, actually he's a dba that's why we created the table if we can create the table he will he should be able to insert the data so i'll be running two queries here insert into dummy values one and also i would like to query which is nothing but select star from dummy okay let me run these two queries or two scoop commands and then we will conclude this topic So you can see one row updated and you can see the results. I is the column name and one is the value. So this is how you can use scoop eval uh, to run any query on the remote database and get the results. And it is very, very, it comes very handy for the validations as well as for the automation purposes and make sure you are comfortable with eval.